Hi, I'm Andre and in this tutorial I'm going to show you everything you need to create your very first FMV game with Charles Engine. It's very easy and no previous knowledge needed. But first we need to initialize our newly loaded Charles Engine from Unity Asset Store. So let's click initialize and wait until it all happens. Now, the only thing that's needed is to import TMP or TextMesh Pro, a plugin for handling text. Okay, just a second, and here we go. We can close those. And here we are in our blank new scene I created with Unity 2019 4. But you can use Charles Engine with any recent Unity version. First thing we need to do is to initialize our scene with Charles Engine tools. So let's go to Tools in the top menu, let's go Charles Engine, Init New Scene. And because we want to do a small di dialogue for our first project, let's click Dialogue. And Engine created the structure we need to start for us. Let's save it and uh, let's talk a bit about the folders there. The Engine, the one you have right now on you, includes the sample project, the one we will be working with today. And it also includes already imported videos. Uh, they are hidden there in the Charles FMV engine. The folder structure mirrors the one you have on your hard drive, so you can double check it in your file explorer or finder if you want. And to in the folder called samples and assets and movies, we have our videos there. They are MP4, H264, and uh, importing them is as easy as just drag and dropping them right into Unity. That's like all you need to do, and the Unity handles it. So we already have a videos prepared for us here, and we can use them to create the very first dialogue. But first, let's talk a little about Unity and uh, the way the scene works. Here in the hierarchy window, uh, we have objects. The objects are the main building blocks of the scene. And each object here in the inspector view has components. And that's where the all magic happens. Uh, we're going to be using dialogues object that includes dialogue component. This is where you'll be tinkering and editing all your dialogues. So let's click on edit and here we have uh, the dialogue tree. And we can have several of those dialogue trees and each tree is a diagram of the dialogue flow. So let's first, we need to name our tree. Let's call it the tree one. The trees are a uh, kind of imagine them like logical building blocks that constitute your project. Here we want to make a, you know, a simple interview with a person. So we want first to add introduction, the video that's going to be playing before we have a chance to ask anything. Uh, the Charles engine automatically creates the starting note and we can add a new one. We should add a new one. We can either click the plus sign and it will automatically create a video note in this instance uh, or the note that's most useful in the given situation or we can right click and click connect and bring this little colorful arrow and uh, click right again and there we can you know, select the desired note. Uh, there are much more many more note types, but for this tutorial we'll be using only video note, fork note and answer note. We will get to those in a moment, but first let's create, I guess, another video note. So we have two video notes here and you can see they're red. When the notes turn red, it means that there's something wrong, something is not fitting. Uh, so, and the thing that's missing here are the videos. So we need to tell the engine which videos we want to use with those notes. So we can click on this video blank box and hit enter or click the plus button and select the videos from those that are already included in the Charles engine as a sample project. So I will select hey how are you and then I guess yes is this a prank? And you know to test things out we can always jump right there into a play mode uh, you, make, you need to make sure you're here in the game, uh, game tab and then click play button and it will play the thing. Hello, how are you? How are you? I've got your email. That's good. I always what? get those undelivered messages. Is that a prank? No, it's not. <laughs> Goodbye. Or is it? 
Okay, so they've seen it played our videos, so it works. <laughs> but now suppose we want to add a little more complexity to it, right? And uh, let's say we want to simulate some interview. And the way you do this in FMV Games and with Charles Engine is to add a fork. Uh, imagine a fork like a crossroad between different ways the interview can go, or like the dialogue can go. So let's click on connect, or the plus sign, and let's create a fork node. Fork node has its own background video, so let's choose that. It will be just a loop, it will be playing in the background. We can leave it blank, but I prefer to have like, you know, more suspenseful or atmosphere building, uh, you know, uh, ethos to my project. So I will just go add this one, that's a loop there, and I will click plus and plus, and because Charles Engine is content aware, it will create our answers. And those answers are uh, the empty boxes into which we can write the options. The dialogue lines we want to, you know, speak in our game. So let's say no, it's serious, please, or yes, it's a prank, but I still want to make a great FME game. So that should be working. And now when we test it out, we will see that we will be in our branch. Okay. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? If you, you know, I've got your email. In a rush, you can. What? You can Is that a prank? Videos with the space bar. <laughs> Goodbye. And now we have, if I like, uh, click on maximize to bring it up in the full screen, we have uh, our, you know, our dialogue lines here. And as with a normal, or like the real interview, we can, you know, direct the flow of the conversation. To show you one last feature before we end. I will add another, you know, videos to follow our answers. Okay, all right. And the other one, again, I can either click plus sign or with the box selected, click plus. And I can say, all right, I'll go ahead. That's the same video. So I can just click, yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, we could be branching off to many more directions here. I can add another answer and then add another video and another video and then perhaps another fork. And, you know, I can create a very complex interview with Charles Engine very easily and in a very, in a very uh, visible way. Like, you can see what's happening, right? There is like a flowchart. So it's, you know, easy to, you know, orient yourself in it. If you want to delete something, then this is a good place to show you. You can either delete individual node by right-clicking and clicking remove. Or you can start with perhaps the answer node and just click right-click and remove node and children and it will, you know, flush the whole line of dialogue you want. But a thing I want to show you is that when I now try to play the game with no maximization on, and I will keep my dialogue tag open and I will open Hello. it again and edit, now are you? three dots show me where exactly email. am I in the structure. So what? I can easily debug, is that a prank? see what went wrong, Psst. or easily Goodbye. check if everything is alright. And now you can see we're there in the fork, the three dots are there, and if I click on no, I'm serious, well, you'll see yeah. we jumped right that there into this line of dialogue. Yeah, that makes sense. And now perhaps like a bunch of different videos could follow. So that was it. Thanks for your attention, and we at Charles Games are eager to see what will you, our players, developers, and creators, will come up with Charles Engine FMV. For in-depth discussion about different kinds of nodes, variables, and other advanced features of Charles Engine, please consider tuning in for our second, third, and fourth episode.